Hey guys, welcome to our new video. I'm going to show you how to get verified uh, on PayPal. How to get your PayPal account verified, right? So remember the last time I showed you how to make money online using Puzzle? Here I am. Uh, so once you have filled in your information, they're going to need you, you to link your PayPal account to your profile. So look at this. We go to forwarders profile, then we go to payment information, right? You click that, it's going to take you here. It says uh, PayPal payment information. All parcel payments are processed through PayPal. At the moment, PayPal is one of the most convenient and secure online payment processing methods. Um, so we're going to go down here. It says, you see, it says to start receiving payments from shoppers, you need to link your PayPal account to your parcel account. So it says, if you have already, if you already have a PayPal account, make sure it is verified. Only verified accounts can be linked to parcel, right? So if your account is verified, you can log in. Let's see. When we say log in, I just want to show you uh, what it's going to say to you, right? So, we're going to log in using my uh, thingy. My, 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 my. Right. Okay. We're going to log into my PayPal. Right. Then it just shows me my balance and stuff like that, you know. Nothing much going on there. Right? Then we're gonna go back. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So, okay. I did log in, but it, it still took me here, right? It still took me to my, um, you see, it says log in to PayPal. Oh, yes, you're supposed to click down there. Right? Yes. Then it says, hi, Emily. Look, it says, Pastor will be able to access some of your profile information and stuff. You can revoke this consent at any time from within within your PayPal account settings, right? So I'm going to agree to that and let it connect. It's loading. Then it says account verification problem, right? This is where I needed us to be. Okay. So it says it looks like the specified account requires PayPal verification. Please go to your PayPal account and check if it needs to be verified. Once you verify your PayPal account, please try to log in, right? Okay, we're going to close that and try to see how to verify PayPal accounts. I know on the, on the PayPal page, they don't really have much information on how to verify your, your account. You just uh, need to figure it out, you know, like work around it and see if it works for you, right? So it says you need to confirm your email address, which we have already done. It also says you have to confirm your mobile number. We have already done that. We got the code and we did insert the code and stuff. So number three, it says link your bank account, right? So this one I have already done, but uh, I haven't gotten any, okay. Okay, that's the one. Sorry, guys. So, this is how you verify it. Number three, right? So, you're going to link your bank card. What you're going to do is you're going to go to... You see how much they're going to take? Something like $1. Sometimes $2, right? But they're going to refund it. So, I just want to show you um, that I already linked my card. Um... Just gonna show you down here. I already linked it and I gave it a nickname. It says my gold chick, right? 
So you can link more and more cards, different cards, right? This one, it's, it's, it's currently my F&B, which I use to withdraw the funds and stuff. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you what to do. So once you link your card, right? Isn't you're going to log into your paper? Then you go down here. Then you say link bank card right so you're gonna see link your credit card uh if you are from south africa but if you're from outside south africa or whatever uh if you're in the u.s you can see you see there right so we're gonna click that this is where i put my information as you can see here right okay so what I did was, after linking, it told me that I should look out for a code. It's a four number or four digit code. Uh, it's going to appear on my bank statement and which I did. I'm going to show you. I took a screenshot as you can see here. I'm not sure if you can see. You see here. 2757 right that's the code that i got and then um as you can see you confirm your card you're going to click here then it's going to send the code then you will insert the code then it's going to show you that you are verified right okay so i'm going to show you i'm i'm going to i'm going to log into my parcel log into my parcel uh, account and try to log in again and see if it's gonna if it's gonna agree right so you go back here again you log in with paper right so i'm gonna change the account because it's not verified i'm gonna verify it uh i'm gonna verify it uh, afterwards so we're gonna use one of our business accounts so it needs a code every time i log in which you really really need to activate also on your side you know so that nobody plays around with your paper because once you send somebody money like using your accounts and using your phone. Uh, even if that somebody stole your phone, you know, let's say they borrowed the phone and they asked to to use your phone, Hanti, they use it, they, they, they're on your PayPal and they send the money to themselves. Even if you claim on the PayPal uh, customer or support center, they won't be able to help you. You know, they'll say that you did authorize, you did give your phone to that person and stuff. So you really, really need this one. Just in case, maybe you, you also use your laptop or your computer that's always at home. And you you decide to go to the mall or something. You leave the house and there's somebody at home, you know, they playing around with the computer. They come across your paper. What they're going to do is... Um, okay. I'm having trouble guys okay you know my phone has a problem with my sim cards right so I always have to switch them around I always have to switch them around so I'm gonna do this Yes, guys. So at first, I didn't know how to link my PayPal to my bank account. And I sent somebody money and they they just ran away with my, my hard earned US dollars. Like that was my one of my first that I had earned, you know, from a company called Premise. And it was it was really sad. I won't lie to you. Uh, the person disappeared on me and um, when I reported to PayPal, they told me, no, it shows that you did authorize this transaction. So, unfortunately, we cannot help you.
at this moment. So it was really sad. I won't lie to you. So hence, it's it's really important to secure all your, um, you know, accounts online. You see, it says, well done. PayPal payment credentials added. You are logged in with PayPal and can receive and payments from uh, parcel shoppers, right? So that was easy, guys. All you need to do is you just need to... So I'm going to log out for now. Um, you just need to do, do, do this whole process again. If you're not sure, you log into your uh, PayPal. Right. You log in. Uh, which one is it? This one. You log in to PayPal. You go down, down, down down the page then you link you click on the linked card if you haven't linked it you have to uh, insert the information then you're going to come here and say confirm card then it's going to make a transaction to your bank account and all you have to do is uh where are we we're looking for that screenshot right um then you look out for that it's 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 going to be like this right it's going to be pp and a, and four digits and code just look out for that right you will definitely know that it's from paypal because it says 1.95 that's the us dollars uh it's converted already for you so it's around 30 bucks then you insert this code back back to the the interface right then you're good to go you are verified um yes guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video